We have a lot of what ifs to consider when it comes to the 2020 general election. And with so many unknowns, we've got you covered with some insight. Dr. Marie Shepard is a political science instructor at Madison College. Dr. Shepard, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you. First question for you, Dr. Shepard. We've got the pandemic, the economy, health care, systemic racism, a lot of hot topics. Which one do you think stands out most to voters? Uh, they're all important. When you look at some of the polling data, it shows that um, supporters for, for uh, Vice President Biden and also for President Trump, that they see these issues in a very different way. Um, in terms of health care, Biden supporters rank that in the top, once again, 80 percentile in terms of importance uh, for Trump supporters. Uh, they're a little different. So while health care, the pandemic, the economy, and even foreign policy are all important, What's interesting is that the supporters and voters for each one of the candidates, uh, they rank them in very different ways. And polls are showing this is a close race. Now, in 2016, Green Party candidate Jill Stein requested and paid for the Wisconsin presidential recount. Could we see something similar this year? Uh, I, I doubt that. One of the things looking at this election, uh, election today is how it's different than 2016. Uh, in, in 2016, we did not have an incumbent president. Uh, in 2016, of course, there was no pandemic. Um, and also in 2016, that's when we had um, the voter ID had just come on board. Uh, we don't have that. So sort of the, the, the setting for this election is, is somewhat different than what we had in 2016. In particular, there is really no third party um, candidate there to in essence, sort of siphon votes away from either one of the major party candidates. As I watched the coverage uh, all day long, you noticed a lot of long lines across the country. How surprised are you by that, given the amount of absentee voting? Uh, not surprised. Actually, I think in a strange way, and I think we saw this during the, the spring primary, is that the pandemic, in some ways, it sort of released some energy, I think, that more people now have Fortunately or unfortunately, they have more time to pay attention to politics. Uh, they understand the importance of the, the election and they have more once again time and maybe uh, resources to actually participate. Um, so I don't see, again, in terms of the, the voter turnout through mail-in voting and also in-person yeah. voting as being that shocking. I think um, there are, it's, it's a ben unfortunate, unintended benefit of a pandemic. All right, Dr. Shepard, thank you very much.